Open Xtool official website to download software. After downloading, install and open the software. Turn on the power switch on the back of Xtool M1. Connect Xtool M1 to your computer by using the USB cable. Click Connect. Select Xtool M1. The connection is successful. If you want to use your device wirelessly, click Wi-Fi setting. Turn on the power switch on the back of Xtool M1. Connect Xtool M1 to your computer by using the USB cable. The connection is successful. Select Xtool M1 and click Next. Please select a network to join the device and click Next. Wi-Fi configuration is complete. Now disconnect the USB cable and try operating your device wirelessly. Select Xtool M1. The connection is successful and you can click IP connection to set up IP connection. Find your Xtool M1 in the device list and remember its IP address. Select IP connection. Enter the IP address of the device. The connection is successful. Click Projects. Links to the Example Project Center, where you can find various example projects. Select a project that interests you. Click Start Project. Processing parameters have been set in the project, and you can click Start to start processing. Click Support. Links to the Xtool Support website, where you can find online help for Xtool products. Click Shop. Links to the Xtool online store, where you can purchase Xtool products, accessories, and materials. Click the settings icon in the upper right corner. Device name sets the name of your device. Serial number displays the serial number of your device. Standby time displays the total time the device is on standby. Operating times displays the total number of times the device has been operated. Working time displays the total time the device processing materials. Firmware version displays the firmware version of the device. You can click updates to check for later versions and update the firmware. Parameters sets the fill light brightness of the device and the time the fan continues to work after the processing ends. Backlash, you can click test to test the engraving deviation when the laser module moves in a reverse direction. Work log, you can click export to export the work log of the device. Process what you draw, this is an offline function. The device can recognize what you draw and process it without connecting to XCS, and you can set how it works. Laser engraved black patterns, engraves patterns that you draw in black. Laser cut black outline, cuts outlines that you draw in black. Laser cut red outline, cuts outlines that you draw in red. Import, import an image. After importing an image, you can set the properties of the image. Filter, you can add a grid filter for the image. Sharpness, with other settings unchanged sharpness, is related to the clarity of detail in an image. Grayscale, the grayscale is related to the contrast of light and shade. Slide the block on the left to the middle to enhance the shade. Slide the block on the right to the middle to enhance the light. Insert, selected to draw a common shape. Line. Rectangle. Circle. Shape, inserts a shape. Text, inserts a text. The default text is your text here. After insert the text, you can change the words, set the font size, typeface, and spacing. Vector, selected to draw a vector path. After drawing a vector path, you can double-click an anchor point to convert it to a rounded corner, or back to a corner, and adjust the curvature. Extract, extracts images from the image captured by the camera of a device. This function is available only when XCS has connected to a device with a camera. You can use the magic wand, eraser, and crop tools to extract the image you want, and then you can use the image for processing. Crop, keeps the area you select. Eraser, erases the area where you click from the image. Magic Wand deletes the area you want to delete from the image. Click Save after you complete the extraction. Select. Selected to select an item or drag the mouse pointer over the items to select them. Hand. Selected to move the canvas by dragging the mouse. 
Undo cancels the last action. Redo performs the last action again. Outline extracts the outline of an image. Select an image and click Outline. Array creates multiple copies of an element at a time and lays them out in grid or circular mode. Smart Fill duplicates a design element for multiple materials helping you process multiple materials at a time. Edit your design for one material, and then click Smart Fill. The same design is generated for other materials. Align aligns multiple elements. For example, to align the elements shown in the following figure. Align Left. Horizontal Align Center. Align Right. Align Top. Vertical Align Center. Align Bottom. Distribute horizontally. Distribute vertically. Arrange. Arranges the order of elements. You can bring an element to front or send it to back, or bring it forward or send it backward one layer by one layer. For example, to arrange the elements shown in the following figure. Send to back. Send backward. Bring forward. Bring to front. Combine. Combines two or more elements. When you unite the two elements, when you subtract the two elements, when you unite the two elements at overlap, click engrave. When you subtract the two elements at overlap, reflect, reflects an element horizontally or vertically. When you reflect the element horizontally, when you reflect the element vertically, position, sets the position of an element on the canvas by the X and Y coordinates. The point, 0, 0, is in the upper left corner. The unit can be set in settings. Size, sets the size of an element. The unit can be set in settings. Rotate, rotate an element by angle. A positive value indicates rotating clockwise, and a negative one indicates rotating counterclockwise. Zoom, zooms in or out the canvas or fit the canvas on screen. Canvas management, you can add, delete, or rename a canvas. Laser flat, processes flat materials by using laser beams. Laser cylindrical, processes cylindrical materials by using laser beams. Open plane, processes large area materials, with the base plate of the device removed. Blade cut, processes materials by using a blade module. If you use a material launched by X tool, select your material from the drop-down list box. If you use one purchased from other manufacturer, set it to user-defined material. If you use a user-defined material, you can click Auto Measure to enable XCS to measure the thickness of the material. If Auto Measure fails, use a caliper to measure it and enter its thickness. If you have raised your material by using triangular prisms, select Triangular Prism. Score engraves only the outline of an element. Engrave engraves the fill of an element. Cut cuts the outline of an element. Power sets the power for engraving or cutting. Speed sets the speed at which engraving or cutting is to be performed. Pass, sets the number of processing times. Path Preview, displays the processing path of your design elements. Framing, shows the area to be processed on the material. If the design elements is to be processed as expected in the expected area, click Send to send the file to your device. Press the button on your device to start processing, and wait for the processing to complete.